We started to work on the Fidon Archive of Graphic Design almost uh, five years ago. Um, we had already published a book that was Fidon Design Classic and it was all about uh, product design, the best classic that has been manufactured since uh, the Industrial Revolution. And uh, we thought that it would be very, very interesting to do something very similar with uh, the best of graphic design. And uh, while we started to uh, collect uh, some samples, uh, we end up uh, with uh, almost uh, a little bit more than 8,000 uh, designs. And uh, the editing was particularly difficult because uh, uh, there were some that were clearly not up to the standard, but uh, many of them was as good as the one that uh, you can see here uh, hanged on the wall. So the idea was that uh, we were practically building an archive, that it was an archive of graphics that uh, we look at, uh, that we are inspired by. We as a publisher are very keen on a good uh, design. Our books uh, are a mix of uh, excellent content, uh, but also incredible design. Uh, once uh, we have collected uh, the thousands of uh, samples, uh, we were trying to edit them down and uh, there were different ways of doing it. Uh, we wanted something that was global, international, that could uh, include uh, different kind of graphic design, but a graphic design that has always been applied on paper, so we don't have any website or digital design. But we wanted also to show that graphic design is not only about posters or advertising. There are people who are designing flags, money, um, disco, uh, CD. So it's an entire world and it's a world that uh, we are interacting really every day. To make the final selection, we involved a lot of people. We have uh, people in different countries, we have people who are experts uh, in different disciplines and category. and the idea was always to ask and ask and ask, uh, and also keep on sending our list uh, and ask them uh, what was absolutely necessary, what was uh, not going to be included, and the things that uh, may be, and depending more or less on personal taste. A lot of experts uh, were following us uh, during the entire process, and uh, some of them were extremely skeptical about uh, the idea and the possibility of uh, um, ending up with only 500 examples. We work with a lot of creative people and we know how creative people like to be surrounded by great images. So this was uh, one of the reasons why we decided to do a box of cards instead of a book. So the idea is that you have these 500 cards and you can put it on your desk, you can hang on the wall, you can keep it at home in the office and uh, you can even change them as much as you can and uh, this uh, will allow you to be inspired by different images every single day. And uh, as you can see here in this display, you can always uh, do some nice exhibition, and that could be thematic exhibition, chronological exhibition, and we think that it could be a fantastic tool also for schools, in which uh, uh, every, even every single week uh, you can uh, decide to have uh, a monographic exhibition or a special exhibition or anything you want uh, to tell the history of graphic design. But the idea was uh, that uh, we wanted uh, to have something that was manageable and that people can uh, understand and that was not too overwhelming. But we also realized that uh, in a book form uh, this would have been extremely difficult because uh, while we were uh, um, talking with this advisor, some people would say, oh, you have to organize it by graphic designer. Others said you have to do it chronologically. Others were suggesting to do it by category. So it was very difficult to decide in which way we could sequence the book and that was the moment in which we decided that maybe it wasn't a book 
And so what we decided to do was really to do a series of cars that have a main image on the front and then some other images on the back and all the information that you need, the name of the designers, the year, who commissioned, and then a very clear short text about the piece. So in this way, people can reshuffle the cards inside the box. The cards come in chronological order by default, but we also provide them with some dividers that can help the readers to organize them either by category or by designers or in the way they want.